Hi, it's Starnell with Wave Oven Recipes, and today I'm going to be cooking up some air fried salmon burgers using the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven Air Fryer. You can do these as well in any other type of air fryer you may have, and I'll be showing you how to do that right now. Okay, so for these uh, air fried salmon burgers, the ingredient list is pretty simple. I've got a couple cans of pink salmon. These are two six ounce cans of pink salmon. If you have one of those large, like seven and a half, eight ounce cans of uh, the processed canned salmon, you can use that. But I'm gonna use this uh, boneless, skinless pink salmon from the can here. I've got myself one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. I've got three tablespoons of lemon juice. Whoa, well, maybe a little less than three teaspoons now, but I'll make sure I get myself three total teaspoons of lemon juice. I've got a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, and I'm gonna be using one whole egg. So basically to get started here, what I'm gonna do, I'll get the salmon open. Let's see if I still have, yeah, I still have about three tablespoons of lemon juice. I didn't spill too much. I guess I put too much in the start. So anyway, I'm going to get these drained off and get all the ingredients into the bowl here. I'll just move this bread cone container out the way. But get them all into the bowl and start hand mixing them up. All right, gonna get this mixed up now. And I know I could have, you know, spun up my egg some before to mix it up, but I sometimes just like to just put it all in there and go for it. All right, now that I've got it all mashed together, I'm just going to make myself two burger patties. All right, now that I've got everything all put together, got my patties together, since they aren't like, you know, wet dripping, I'm not going to use the baking pan underneath. I'm just going to put the air fryer basket in. And for your respective air fryer, you know, you just put your salmon burgers in. And going to close up. And then I'm going to turn it on and go to air fry. And I'm going to go up to 425 degrees, basically go up to the highest that you have. And I'm going to set my cooking time to right there, 15 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Since I have heating elements on the top and bottom, I probably won't have to flip. For you who have air fryers with the heat only coming from one direction, you may want to after 10 minutes do a flip and then do your last five minutes. That is Lord willing, this takes just 15 minutes, which I think it may. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm just gonna hit start. And we're going to let this cook 15 minutes, 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, there's one minute left. I'm going to increase the time to six minutes, or well, six more minutes, so that basically they'll go 20 minutes total at this 425 here in the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven Air Fryer. Because I'm not seeing the doneness level that I'd like to see in the salmon. I want it all to be well browned over. I know I could uh, go in and flip them, but... Since I have the top and bottom heating elements, I'm going to let them do their work. I'm just going to let it stay in there a total of 20 minutes like this, and then I'll pull them out when they're uh, nice and really well done. So I'll bring you back in a bit. All right, we're coming into our final 10 seconds here. So as soon as it's done, I'm going to just hit the off button so it won't make any excess beeping. All right, turn that light on again. Let's have a look at these. All right, they look good. Gonna get a meat probe in there to test temperature. Get it right deep in there. Just gonna see where the temperature goes. And it's moving on up really at a nice clip. I just wanna see if it gets above 145. If it does, then I know that uh, we're in safe eating territory. So it's still moving up at 131. It looks like we might be stuck at, we're stuck in the 130s. We may need a little more time to get the interior fully cooked. And that was 20 minutes at 425. So let's give it five more minutes, shall we? 
We'll go to menu, air fry, spin it up to 425 again. We'll take our time down five min to five minutes and hit start. We'll bring you back in about five minutes. We'll see where the temperature is then, but we want to make sure that the inside and outside is all uh, fully well cooked. Although it's canned salmon, I want my salmon burger fully cooked all the way through. So I'll bring you back in a bit. All right, we're coming into our final seconds here. And you can see the temperature has just crossed the 150. It's kind of teetering between 150, 151. So basically for this, using this much salmon, 12 ounces of salmon total, you have to do it about 25 minutes in this particular air fryer. I've done it before using just about, uh, just under eight ounces, you know, those like seven and a half ounce cans of salmon. I used that before and could get it done in less time, but you know, more salmon, more time. So. We know that they're done. Just gonna have a quick look. All right, so this is how they look all nice and done. I'm gonna take a slice of cheese. I'm gonna stick it right on top of that big one here. I'm gonna try and safely get the meat probe out. All right. Now I'm going to just stick it back in there, let the cheese melt up a little. That's Haverty cheese, by the way. Got myself my uh, homemade white bread here, made in my bread machine. And I got myself some tartar sauce I'm going to be putting on. Let's turn that off. And so just give that a moment to let the cheese melt and then get it on out of there. Okay, so after giving that cheese a little time to melt in, let's open up and have a look-see again. Looks great. Let's go ahead and get this off. Get one of these off of here. Alright, get, get my spatula up under there good. Alright, got it down there on my bread. Throw a little tartar sauce on top of there because that's what I want on mine. You tell me what you like on your salmon burger. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just get a little ketchup. Mix a little tartar sauce and a little ketchup. Why not? Throw a little ketchup on top of there. All right. I'm going to put that cheese on, we'll put that bread on top of that cheese. All right, there's our finished salmon burger here. 